Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this tutorial, we are doing going to do some introduction to SolidWorks drawing and detailing. We will see what is engineering drawing and why it is important for the CAD model. So let's start. First of all, we will see what is engineering drawing. An engineering drawing is a type of technical drawing that is used to convey, convey information about an object. A common use is to specify the geometry necessary for the construction of a component and is called a detailed drawing. That like it is like that if you are going to make some part and you want to manufacture it or fabricate it, you have to provide the basic and required information to the manufacturer so that he can manufacture the part according to your requirement. Like if if you will give him some type of sketch and you will not provide him the dimension so how can he make the or manufacture the part so it is very very important that you have to give the essential construction geometry shapes views and dimensions to manufacture the exact and accurate part so usually a number of drawings are necessary to complete specify even a simple component so if you have a holes in your drawing and your geometry is complex so you have to make the multiple drawings one is to show their half section other is to show their auxiliary section so it is important that you have to explain your part in different drawing the drawings are linked together by a master drawing or assembly drawing which gives the drawing numbers of the subsequent detailed components quantities required construction materials and possibly 3d images that can be used to locate individual items so there are assembly drawings too that like if you have 10 parts and you have joined the 10 parts to make an assembly so you have to make the uh, drawing for each part and their drawings are linked with each other and you can make the assembly from this drawing so there are three basic views which give the most of the detail of the part which is top, front and side view. So why drawing is important? Drawing it is important for the projecting your imagination to a piece of paper. Drawing a path of your final product, it determines whether your product will be acceptable or not. Creating bill of material, bill of material is so much important it will give you every information like how much part pieces you want and what is the price everything says each and every process required to manufacture it will explain you the manufacturing processes to give the better idea where to start and where to finish so now we will see how we can make the SOLIDWORKS drawing and and how to generate drawing in the SOLIDWORKS so I have made this part as you can see I am going to the file and from here I will go to the make drawing from part after clicking make drawing from part you will get this sheet format or size tab in this you can select the size of sheet like there are different standard size of sheets a4, A3, A2 and this ANSI is showing the standard and there are two types one is of landscape and other is of portrait or you can if you want the custom size you can just click this tab and from here you can give the dimension of your sheet so I am going to use the standard sheet size which is A3 landscape select ok So after selecting this you will get this sheet this is our detailing table and this is our sheet from on which we are going to insert the different views this is our drawing property manager and these are the different tabs from where we can add symbols we can add dimensions there is a sketch tab which is used to make the sketch and after that it will convert into the crop or broken views 
first of all we are going to study how we can add simple standard three standard views top front and side in this sheet with this is the view palette in in this there are the different views you want to add in this sheet how you can add this you will select this and drag this view into a drawing sheet your first view is added and after that you can automatically make the projected views from this single view like this so our three basic views are added if you want to edit these views like i want hidden lines in here so there is a display style from here you can add wireframe you can add hidden line visible like this you can see the hidden lines are visible so you can easily give the dimensions and details this is hidden line removed just this will just show the outer shape this is a 3d or color views and this is the shaded with no lines so mostly people use this visible and wireframe display style from here you can increase or decrease the size of your view from this ratio if you want to make the custom ratio you can simply go and select this or replace the numerical values like this so this is the quality like there are two type of quality draft quality and high quality in draft quality the sketch is little bit rough and in high quality it is refined so this is our simple editing of the one drawing view select okay and now you can see we have hidden line here so this was the simple way to add the drawing views so if you don't want to drag these drawing views so if you don't want to add the drawing views using using dragging feature you can simply go to the add three standard orthogonal views the type and orientation of the views can be first or third angle you can add this from the this standard three view select this and the part has been selected of which the three standard views are going to make select ok now you can see that the three views are automatically generated we haven't drag this or do anything we just click this and select the part and our three views are ready front top and right side view so if you want to add the isometric or current view you can simply go and drag it like this so you can show the 3d shape of your model which can clear the uh, which can clear all the dimensions you are going to give in the top front top and side view select ok so this was the simple tutorial on solidworks drawing on the upcoming tutorial we will study these all views projected auxiliary section and after that we will see how we can make the dimensions or show the dimension how we can add symbols and geometric tolerances so stay tuned